All right, well, as we know, it's Friday, which means that it is Zoo Day, so happy Zoo Day. Today, we're going to take you out live to the San Diego Zoo and introduce you to that is a little. our yeah, yeah. newest and friend we'll here with Marco. Look so, Marco, who are you standing by with today? Hey guys, hey, I'm at the beautiful San Diego Zoo. We are at Wegaforth Amphitheater. This is where the Wild Wonders presentation happens, and today it's all about birds of prey. Early, you got a little sneak peek of our condor, so I really want to talk about the difference between birds of prey and raptors, right? Everyone's got a different opinion. The condor you saw can be considered a bird of prey, but when I'm thinking about raptors, eagles, hawks, falcons, owls, merlins, kites, kestrels, it goes on. It's birds like the ones you see on either side of me. For instance, come over Let's this way and check out this beautiful, look at her. Look, look, look at this color. Didn't she look amazing? Goodness. Wow. wow. Right? And those, yeah. uh, now, this talons? bird. What would you call those? Yes, that's, yes. that's exactly what I was going to say. So, the word raptor means to seize or to grasp. So, that's what makes a raptor a raptor. So, if on the camera, look at those feet. Yeah. Those are the raptor feet. Three toes forward, wow. one toe in the back. The back talon is the hallux. That's the one that does the business, right? Wow. This bird, by the way, Harris's hawk, found in the Americas, called the wolves of the sky, you guys. If you've ever seen Jurassic Park, the velociraptors hunting together, this is today's modern version. This is a raptor that hunts together to capture their prey. But pan over to, to my right over here because I want to show you a different version that you can also see in the United States. Again, another raptor, but a little bit different, guys. This is called the red-tailed hawk, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And this particular girl here also has the talent to see that. But not only that, as she's looking at me, look at her face. Look at what raptors also Whoa. have is a hooked beak. Every bird's beak is designed for what they do. So between a duck or a flamingo, this girl's the meat eater. So that beak, it's gonna hook meat, it's gonna pull it out, wow. and it's gonna swallow it down. So they are super good at what wow. they do. Incredible. Isn't that amazing though? The speeds they can fly yeah. and go after their food. I mean, yeah, if you're uh, you know, yeah. something they wanna eat, you're in trouble. <laughs> and, and known for their oh, vision 100%. to be able to see from up there, right? That's exactly right, like a red tail, for instance, or even a Harris's hawk up to a mile away. Some raptors hunt in different ways, though. Remember the owl, right? They're using hearing as well to locate their prey. Even a harpy eagle living in a thick rainforest environment, they have larger facial disc of feathers to collect the sound. And not only that, you guys, I wanted to talk today about birds of prey, the raptors, but also it's nighttime zoo happening here at Yay. the San Diego Zoo, right? So a lot of things to see, and that happens from 4 o'clock on the end. The sun goes down, the zoo completely transforms. So it's amazing. What's going on here today? Love it, nighttime zoo. But we have 15 seconds, Marco. How are the pandas? Yeah. Where are the pandas? What can you tell us? Uh, I knew you were going to ask me yeah, that, but I got one very special fact just for you in the audience that the pandas, when they arrived, they showed up absolutely black and white. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good dad jokes uh, Thank you, Marco. You Thank keep you your Marco. eyes tuned. No problem, guys. I'll see you later.